Hi, do you believe in snacks? Hi, it's Trixie, welcome back to the channel. And today we are diving into the complicated world of gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free food. Now, I'm a Wisconsin person, as you all know. And I believe in I believe in dairy. I believe in it in my life. I was vegan for like eight months in college, and did I feel great? Yes. Did I look great? Yes. But my eyes were white, my skin was clear, I had energy, but I really missed <laughs> food you guys. So my doctor currently has me on no dairy, no gluten. So if you're following along at home, Trixie Mattel, no alcohol, no drugs, no meat, no dairy, and no gluten. So I guess we're just having seeds and rubber, bitch. Like, I don't know what we're eating, but I went online and I ordered a bunch of snacks that are supposed to be vegan and, and, and gluten-free that I hope will be enjoyable. So I thought today we could try a bunch of these snacks, give it kind of a rating, and then move on. So this is to either recommend to you great vegan item first impressions by me, or some of you hoes out there who are vegan, you can see what I think of your favorite snacks. I'm a picky person. You know, when Kim Chi was on the channel and we were doing a mukbang, I'm still traumatized by some of the food we ate during that. So I'm just gonna start grabbing things and let's go for it. Now I gotta start with something that I was very excited about because the first thing I missed when I had to cut out real like milk items was milk chocolate. I love Reese's and on the internet, I found out that Reese's, I believe last year started these plant-based Reese's. So let's try it, bitch. Let's try it. I really hope these are good. It's been hard, you guys. It's been really hard, but I've been seeing a rheumatologist because you guys know I've been sick and I'm, I'm trying to be obedient. And she was like, can you do me a favor? In the next two weeks, can you cut out dairy and gluten? And I looked at her like, like she just asked me to go eat for two weeks. I was like, I was like, that's so against my nature, but yeah, okay. Oat chocolate confection and peanut butter. Vegan, non-GMO, let's see. Remember in Coraline, the other mother? <laughs> this is like the other mother of Reese's. It, <laughs> I, don't. I need it. It does taste like Reese's. Nick, eat this. You're gonna get what I'm saying. It is Reese's. It's just it's it's about 50% of Reese's. It lacks that saltiness of peanut butter to me. It tastes like Reese's for about the first second. Yeah, it's it's like a CBD to marijuana. Yeah, that's totally what it is. This is methadone. This is getting you off the drug. Okay, smokers, this is the nicotine patch. I do like it. I'm happy for it. If somebody was really high and these were frozen, they might not know the difference. It's still good. Listen, a toothy blowjob is still a blowjob. Okay, out of five leaves, this is a four. I, I mean, it's still the Reese's. It's still good. It's still good. If an alien life form tried this, they'd be like, this is delicious. And they'd be like, well, you should try the real, you know. But it's good. Listen, if you're vegan and you miss Reese's, this is, this is really good. Oh, by the way, if you guys like this hair, this is a James Mansfield premium wig. She sent me this. Isn't it great? I just real quick back home the shit of it. And then you guys, not to give myself away, for a little extra volume in these, in these single wigs, I just get these like little clip-in things on, on Amazon. You just lift up a layer and like stick this in here. Smooth it out and no one's the wiser. Let's move forward, shall we? Fantastic, functional low-carb gourmet treats. Low-carb, keto-friendly, gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, made with green bananas, brownie crisps. I just off the bat know that this can't be that good. <laughs> right, I don't wanna be judgmental, but like on the packaging, you write all this shit. Like you might as well just tell people they're about to eat dirt. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's, it's actually good. <laughs> it tastes burned, but I like that. You know how like sometimes when cookies are a little burned, they're like weirdly good? Try that. I think it's like weirdly good. Sorry, you're all getting involved now. <laughs> now we had to get everybody involved. They're good. I actually think they're good. They kind of taste like burnt bananas. I made a face, but I have eaten three of them. I'm gonna say this is a three. This is pretty good. I would eat this, I'll buy this again. Okay, these actually, I'm gonna be honest, I cheated. These came yesterday and I was here working in the studio by myself and I wanted a snack. One milligram of sugar per bag. The entire bag of these is 90 calories. And I was like, I gotta know what the tea is. Cause you guys know I love like Starburst, Hi Chew. I love all that type of shit. You guys, these are fierce. This is, these are a five. These are amazing. That's oomph, candy with a new direction. Literally work me out. This is really good. They're really chewy, aren't they? Really good, really chewy, but not pull out your fillings chewy. These are just really good. This is lemon, but there's, can I have the apple one? I tried the apple one yesterday and the apple one is a big sleigh bitch. <laughs> it's 
I love that. The, the grabber, yeah. We use this little grabber to grab wigs off a shelf, but in videos that ends up being Brandon's hand. She was gone for a while, she back. Because Brandon's a hand model, he's not gonna give it to you for free. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the hook to pull you off. Do you guys know about celebritytfeet.com? They have pictures of me and Katya on Celebrity Feet, which I was just happy to be called a celebrity. It's chewy, you guys. These are so good. These are a five. These are amazing. 90 calories per bag. One gram of sugar per bag. Like, this is amazing. You are chewing forever, though. <laughs> it's, it's a lot it's of crazy. chewing. It's a lot of chewing. You also burn calories. I will say this about vegan shit. They have to try to make it good enough to fight the stigma against vegan food. And this is f***ing good. I could do a little do a little bit more sugar. You think? Eh. Well, it's made with allulose, which is a natural sweetener found in foods like raisins and figs. It kind of gives candy like your grandparent would give you. I like it. I do too. It just, it, it feels a little old school. Like, yeah. I don't know. A little homeschooled. No, it feels like old fashioned taffy yeah. where like, it's really, you know, it's good though. And you know what though? They put them in these silver wrappers, which makes them seem chewable like Metamucil or some shit. It does give old. My jaw is ending. Mm -hmm. Like it's really chewy. Mm -hmm. I cannot recommend those enough. Those would be good for like your office drawer, like something you want a sweet snack, but you don't want to eat candy all day. That's fierce. Those are really good. The lemon is the best for sure. The other ones are okay. The lemon's the best for those for sure. By the way, Trixie, Trixie Motel Cup. Lately, I'm ups I feel like one of those Gen Z TikTokers who like is putting flavored things and just drinking water all day. What's the tea next? This is a sub kind of a mixed bag box. Oh yeah, I bought this on Amazon. It was called like a, basically like a care package for vegans. So it was a ton of weird shit. The good grocer. 100% happiness guaranteed. Thank you. Now this is where I think things are gonna get complicated. Kapow, super grains. Free from gluten, corn, rice, and wheat, and it's vegan. It says kapow. Kapop, as in I'm gonna kapop you in the mouth for correcting me. <laughs> kapop my chair, it's vegan. I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. This is where I get a little, as a person from Wisconsin, you know how the turfs are like, that's not a real woman. The Wisconsin to me is like, that's not real cheese. So this is where I get a little suspicious. That's good. It tastes very diet. Very diet. You do a lot of popcorn around here and it feels more substantial than a popcorn bite. And you guys, the whole bag is 140 calories. You can eat the whole bag. That I like. Dolly Parton said once, I can eat anything I want. I just can only have one. Who the f is sitting down and eating one cheese Pringle? Who the f are these people? So I do like alternatives. I'd rather eat 30 puffs of something that's half good than like five really good cheese puffs, personally. I'm not a huge like cheese snack person. This is like the exact level of cheese I want on a snack. That's good. Yeah, this is good. This is mango. I mean, we buy a lot of dried mango at my house. So yeah, incredible. Fruit for thought, dried mango is amazing. And honestly, this is the color and texture of my skin. <laughs> so this like, look at, tell me that's not my exact skin. Does it look like my ear? What if I was just like, you guys, you guys like my earrings? And I just like revealed that ear, could you imagine? When I used to smoke weed, whole pack of these, whole pack of dried mango, put on a nice four hour marathon of Locked Up Abroad, I just eat the shit out of these, bitch. Okay, original Mama Chia features a uh, Chia Squeeze Blackberry Bliss. Ew. You guys, I don't really get into like baby food behaviors. Chia seeds, Chia gun. I think mother nature just squirted in my mouth. <laughs> Still going though. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like it. Shots. I don't like it, you guys. <laughs> I. <sighs> now here's what I do know. Fruits with a dark skin are very beneficial to your health. Blueberries, stuff like this. I bet this blackberry is very good for you. It's made from nothing but chia seeds, apple puree, grape juice concentrate. I mean, it's just fruit. It's that texture though. That's not a good texture. It's not a good texture. I feel like I'm drinking like a- uh, Fish eggs? A little sour condiment. Yeah, it's, it's slimy. Yeah. You know, I bet you this is honestly a lot better chilled, like in the fridge. I don't live for it. I just want to try it one more time though. There is something addicting about it. Like I would want to like chew it. I changed my mind. I'm going to say it's a two though. Honestly, it's a little weird. Okay, I'm going to hate this. I'm going to fucking hate this. N flavor infused. Pizzoots. Premium Virginia Addison Peanuts. I'm not gonna like this. What? They say dill pickle, I taste chlorine. Good for you, honey. You need to have a couple to like taste it. Oh. Kind of gives chlorine or something to me. Yeah. Oh, I, I do taste the dill. 
It's off. It comes I don't down. like it, but I don't like like dill pickle chips. I don't like that. I kind of like it. Yeah, I, David Silver loves dill pickle. I think he would like these. I get dill, but the the top of it is like kind of like the kids eating the Tide Pods, like really astringent. Yeah, there's something weird, there's something weird about it. Something odd about it. Um, I'm gonna say that's a one for me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Hazelnut coffee. Oh, I hate coffee. Hazelnut coffee maca. You guys, I don't even like coffee, so I'm not gonna live for her. This is so f***ing gross. Yeah, this has caffeine in it, doesn't it? This is sick, you guys. It's earthy. Doesn't this like coffee? It feels like coffee grounds. Yeah, it's coffee grounds. It's coffee grounds in an RX bar. It's a no for me. But that's just like my own personal bias too, like, cause I don't like coffee, so. Amki Sesame Thins. This is gonna suck. I'm waiting for you to quote Kennedy and say, this food nasty. Oh my God, yes. This makes me think of Kennedy Davenport on Drag Race. She never liked the food we were getting fed. And so she would like walk up to the crafty table and be like, this food nasty. I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. I just would never choose this. I'd rather have nothing. I'd rather have nothing. Burnt popcorn? I don't like it. I don't know what it is. It's sesame seeds, which to me tastes like, I like sesame seeds in like Asian food like savory. I don't like it as like a sweet thing. If this had been salty, I would have been more into it. I think it would have been better salty. I'm, I'm key, maybe salty. I'm getting like a familiar taste, but I can't figure out what it is. It's whole, it's unwashed whole. <laughs> All right, this is Smash Bite. I love this. I love like weird mashed up fruit into cubes. I'm gonna love this. Sunflower butter and strawberry jam. I'm gonna love this. The other thing is a lot of these vegan foods I noticed, the expiration dates are they're coming. So like a lot of these snacks are made to not be packed with preservatives. Hell yeah. Eight down, bitch. These are like peanut butter and jelly balls. These are delicious. These are really good. But like backstage, an environment where you want a snack that you just pop in your mouth, love. It tastes like an Uncrustable meets cookie dough. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's gonna get a four. We have to reserve the fives for the ultimate best. That's a four. That's really good though. Pure organic layered fruit bar. Honestly, this has been a good experience so far. I was expecting more gross. This is all just a shadow of what you really want though. <laughs> Sounds like my dating life. Yeah, this is good. This is basically a bunch of fruit concentrates and purees made into a little stick. This is delicious. Four, absolute four, love it. If I was a kid and I got that in my like lunchbox, I'll be very happy with that. That's very good. All right, we have uh, Lesser Evil uh, Popcorn Himalayan Gold. It sounds like pee. Himalayan Gold sounds like something that somebody on like Snippies would call pee. Like, can I get some of your Himalayan gold? I'm an easy sell on popcorn, you guys. And on my rider, popcorn's one of the only things. This is delicious. This is honestly better than Smart Pop. This is good. Wow. It really tastes like butter. Premium quality, minimally processed with butter flavored coconut oil. 100 calories, whole bag. How do they do it? Oh, it says, we air pop low and slow to create optimal kernel expansion with more surface areas for oil and seasoning. This is good as f You guys, this tastes like almost like movie theater butter. Doesn't this taste like real butter? Yes. Yes, it tastes real. That's really good. That's a five. That's some of the best like healthy popcorn I've ever had. Oh yeah. That's good, right? Spot on. You can't even tell the difference. Yeah, it really tastes like, it doesn't just taste like butter-ish. Like I love the Smart Pop, but the butter flavor is such a hint. This actually, it my nose almost smells movie theater from it. It's good. And I hate to say, but like movie theater butter, I feel like that is like the standard. You guys, I'm really gagged by this. This is a five. This is a five for sure. Super major. Okay, I saw this on Amazon and I had to grab it because I thought the packaging was cool. Oat milk, salted caramel crunch, chocolate, super major. Dairy free, no sugar added, plant-based. It looks like Rush Poppers. It looks like Rush Poppers. It. I was gonna say like Wonka. It looks like Wonka something. <laughs> We're very different people apparently. <laughs> if you need poppers to loosen up your asshole, maybe you're not a bottom. Plastic free, yeah. Incredibly difficult to open. <laughs> I don't wanna, Dr. Sun told me not to bite things with my veneers or I'm gonna break them off. That goes for normal teeth too. Oh. The real teeth are not as expensive as veneers. Yeah, when you have a kid, they come with two sets for free. I don't know, you guys. Do you guys this, see the color? It's a little suspicious, the kind of gray. It tastes how it looks. I have to give credit here. Plastic free made from sustainable harvested wood, compostable plastic, impressive. It tastes like advent calendar chocolate. Yeah, it's a very two-dimensional. It's the it's the designer impression of chocolate. <laughs> the Reese's was better than this, but dairy-free and no sugar added. I mean, 
I'd still eat it. I hate to say this, it's a great way to not overeat because nothing's that good. So when you're vegan and gluten-free, you're not like, should I be bad? Because you're like, that wasn't tasting very good. So I'm done eating now, you know? It's a great way to diet. These are peanut butter bites. High quality peanuts, kid-friendly, quick energy bite. Plant-based, gluten-free, non-GMO. What is GMO? Genetically modified. Um... Oh, I'm not gonna like this. Oh, it just, oh, it just broke apart my hand. This isn't good. It, it looks like it came out of a guinea pig. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's, it's, yes, it's good. Good for her. Emma. I thought you were dying. That that That's good. Those taste like the peanut butter Girl Scout cookies. Like a peanut butter pretzel and then it's just the inside. Oh, it is really good. It's good. I can't pick it up, but it's really good. <laughs> I opened it and it fell apart in the packaging, but it is good. I'm gonna give that a four. I bet you these are also good for people who like are hiking, where you actually need to consume energy in small bites through the day. Paleo Puffs, lesser evil. Oh, these are the people that made this fierce ass popcorn. So I do have trust here. No cheese cheesiness, grain free. This is where I think vegan food is where the test is. Like making a fruit thing that's already gonna be vegan, making something that tastes not vegan, things can go awry. Oh. It's not gagging my pussy. It's not gagging me at all. The shape is weird. It looks like a little mealworm. I don't like how it looks, you guys. I don't like how it looks at all. You guys, this one compared to Kapop, this Kapop one was a sleigh. It's night and day. You guys, these are just better. These literally taste just better. Really, these are really good. I would buy these even if they weren't vegan and I wasn't vegan, I would buy these. This really feels like if somebody had been vegan a long time and hasn't had a real Cheeto in a long time, you could maybe trick them into this. Especially, I'm from the Midwest. When people who aren't at all vegetarian have to go to a vegan restaurant, they're in like a shitty mood the whole time. Vegetarians and vegans go to restaurants that have almost nothing for them all the time and we just sit with it. If you bring like your dad to a vegan restaurant, he like huffs and puffs the whole time. I think you could do like the Life Cereal Pepsi Challenge with like a meat eater and they would like this. This is good. Okay, I saw this on the internet and had to get it. Blake's seed-based chewy granola bars. This is birthday cake flavored. It already looks like bird food, but let's just try it. All this super environmental plastic is really hard to open though. If I was in prison and this was presented to me on my birthday, I would be into it, but I'm not in prison yet. It's fine. It's a granola bar that has like low-cal birthday cake frosting on it. It must have, I think it has maple syrup in it. It tastes kind of syrupy. It's a little sugary for me. It's a little bit wet. Yeah, it's a little wet. The colors are nice. The sprinkle colors are nice. Yeah, the sprinkle colors are nice. I mean, listen, if you had a kid, a kid would love this. If I ever have kids though, they will be like borderline Amish. Like they won't know what Skittles are. They won't have a TV. They will get this for their birthday once a year and they will think it's like amazing. You shouldn't even let them have birthdays. Hell yeah, they don't need to know how old they are. All right, well, that's a lot of vegan snacks. Overall, I'm very impressed. I thought this was gonna be like a comedic video of us like puking. This was all really good. The superstar legends are these kapow. I mean, I could eat these, I could eat the whole bag right now. These are really amazing. The other superstars for me, this popcorn ate down. This popcorn actually, like I wish this was at AMC. And then I would actually say the other star, I think we were too critical too soon because that Reese's is good. That plant-based Reese's is good. Is it as amazing as a normal Reese's? No, but it's very, very good. Thank you guys for joining us today to try vegan snacks. Hopefully my doctor tells me I can just go back to having gluten and um, dairy, and we can move past this very dark period in my life where I only eat seeds and water. But in the meantime, this has been really nice, and this, this will sustain me. This is gonna sustain me. I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.